ಅಮ್ಮ ವಾಲ್ಯೂಮ್ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಮಾಡಿ ಸೊ ನಾವು ಹಿಯರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಮಾಡಿಫೈಯಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಕ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ರೈಟಿಂಗ್ ದ ಕ್ಯೂ ಇಂಪ್ಲಿಮೆಂಟೇಷನ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಯಾ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಯು ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಟೆಲ್ ಮಿ ವಾಟ್ ಮಾಡಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಐ ನೀಡ್ ಟು ಹಿಯರ್ ಯಾ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಕ್ Okay, next is uh, instead of push, instead of push, yeah, pa, what I need to write? Insert. Delete. Okay. okay, display, let it be like, this, like that only. Okay, apart from that, what modification I need to do here? Any change? No, no. with that we have completed menu okay so here yeah. is max okay so instead of push what i need to write here insert yes. insert okay <laughs> when you are writing insert here what condition i need to check in order to check whether the queue is overflow or not so here two conditions we have specified in the algorithm see condition you just write it here in the program yeah so can is it visible for all of you is the algorithm is visible yes ma'am yes yeah. ma'am yeah please tell me what modification i need to do here yeah friend equal zero and rare equal zero friend equal to uh zero and okay so zero next is and yeah rare equal to n minus 1 n minus 1 okay so next r condition i have to use right r yeah next what else front equals equals rare equal plus equal to rare plus 1 for the pa if that is the case yeah ma'am ha huh? like that you wrote front is equal equal to o or zero zero is that zero yeah it's a zero ma it's look even i got confused that's why i checked okay. it's zero only yeah it's just type it once again it's zero hmm? okay so what uh, you need are required to print it here instead of stack thank you thank you over okay otherwise what you are required to do you have to enter the item uh, okay you have to accept the item from the user so for that um, you are displaying some message to the end user so you are accepting the item and then instead of top incrementing what is to be incremented here what need to be incremented here okay one more condition we are required to check here so before incrementing uh, all these things two conditions i need to check what is that is front equal to minus 1 if front equal to minus 1 it indicates that queue is empty in that case both front and rear you have to increment by 1 so both will be set to 0 and one more situation since it is a circular queue in case rear equal to n minus 1 okay then you have to set rare equal to 1 after doing these two things then you have to increment rare by 1 so that we'll see now how to do that so <clears throat> uh, we have checked that uh, it is not overflow uh, when it is not overflow you can accept the element from the user after accepting the element from the user so you need to see the appropriate place for inserting so before insertion you need to check if yeah tell me front equal to front equal to minus 1 minus 1 yeah. yeah so what i need to for front and rear front is equal to 0 rear is equal to 0 yeah so front equal to rear equal to 0 
enough. That's it. That's it. Hmm? Yeah. Next, what else I need to do? And see if we are equal to minus one. Yeah. Yes. You need to check one more condition. What is that condition you need to check here? If rare equal to n minus one, rare equal to sorry, uh, n minus one. Okay. So rare equal to equal to just one, right? Otherwise, you have to increment rare by one. So rare plus plus is it, is it sufficient? Hmm? Okay. So if you can write rare plus plus, it's enough. Okay. If you are using in the expression, okay. Can I write uh, Q of rare plus plus? Can I write like that? Yeah. If you don't increment here, you can increment here also. Okay. In case if I increment here, can I write like this? Huh? Assume that this statement is not there. Else. Okay. Can I write S yes, rate plus plus equal to a term? Can I write like that? What will happen when you use postfix uh, uh, no operator mind. in the expression? It will be incremented after assigning the item. So how do you increment now? Q plus plus rate equal to item. That can also be done. Okay. Anyway, here I have incremented by one. So Q rate equal to item. Then display the elements of the Q. Okay. So once you have done this, uh, next step is you are required to implement this delete operation for implementing the <coughs> delete operation you need to check is there is the queue is empty how do you check that condition for that check whether friend equal to minus one okay instead of pop what i can write so can you write it as delete 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 is a keyword so for that reason delete queue you can use it as delete queue okay Instead of top equal to minus one, I have to uh, check this condition. What is that? Front equal to minus one. Yeah. So which end flow here? Q. Q. Yeah. Then. So once you have done this, okay. Um, instead of uh, yes of top, what I need to uh, do it here. Q of front. <laughs> yes, exactly. Because you are deleting always from the oh. front. Yes, good. Next, can I straight away increment the front value? It's not possible, right? Because since it's a, a circular queue, you have to take care of certain conditions. In case only one element is there, then you have you have to set the front and rate pointer to minus one. For that reason, you have to check this conditions if front equal to yeah rate that means there is only one element in the array then then both you have to set to what value one ma'am ah uh, anapa since array index starts from zero minus minus exactly front equal to minus one rate equal to Minus one. Minus one. Okay. So I'll just put the parentheses here only. I know those usually I not do like that, but uh, anyway, since I'm not using ID here, uh, indentation is not coming properly. Next is uh, which condition I have to check? Yes. If plant is equal to n minus one. Yeah, front equal to n minus 1. Yeah, then um, 
with what you have to set the front now front is equal to zero zero exactly yes otherwise what you are required to do for the front front should be incremented by one exactly one front equal to front plus one Okay. So, we have so look at here. Yeah. Uh, did you initialize like front as F or front as front? In the beginning, ma'am. Yeah. Uh, you initialize front as front or front as F? I am unable to hear you properly. One second. I'll just increase the, increase the value. Oh, uh, ma'am initialized uh, front as front. Okay, okay. I have okay. initialized friend. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, uh, you you asked us no if we can uh, if you want in front or as F. So I was confused if you has initialized as F. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but uh, I asked you whether front are rare. Then um, I'm using front only because yeah. variables what I'm using here is front and rare. No, like I thought. Let me not confuse you people. Yeah, yeah, yeah morning uh, i was i can able to make out because for uh, places i was using the uh, only beginning letter no so i can understand so i, yeah, I thought i could write this complete uh, word hmm? okay but for you you can use f r okay for the variable name nothing to worry but whenever you are defining the variables please give the meaningful names yeah Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yeah. So that is most important. If you can give meaningful name, it's more than enough for me. Now, instead of push, what I need to write here, what we have defined, it as insert. insert. Do you remember which name we have given so far? Q. Okay, small. Yeah. So look at here. Q capital or small, ma'am? Yes. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, capital. Okay. Thank you so much. Look at here. While displaying here, what I need to check here, when it will be empty. Q. Yeah. So when it will be empty, Q will be empty. If front, front is equal to minus one, rare is equal to minus one. Yeah, exactly. So it's sufficient that because whenever we are uh, like front equal to rare, immediately we are setting both front and rare equal to minus one. So if you check this front equal to minus one, it's more than enough. Yeah. So one condition is sufficient. And then here, how do you display the elements of the queue? I is equal to front of this. Okay. Now it's tricky, right? Yeah. How do you print the elements of the queue now? Straight away, can you paint? <laughs> you have to give me the answer how to print the elements of the queue. This is, so everything we have implemented here lies the uh, small trick. Okay to display the elements of the queue. What is that? From front is equals to one, ma'am, to display from starting. So initially, what is front? Front, you know, like uh, uh, it's initialized to some value, right? OK, so I equal to, uh, how do you display the contents of the queue? Front to rear, Alvapa, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma I'll just go to PPT. Uh, anyway, so from front to rear. Look at here, you have many scenarios here. So start from front, okay, D, and then E. As soon as it becomes equal to N, you have to set the front to 1, right? And again, you have to increment it by 1. Keep on incrementing. How long? Till the front pointer value becomes equal to rear, isn't it? Look at the scenario. Can I increase the size of this PPT? Same uh, example. Can increase the Yeah. 
Look at Can you here. please repeat it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, for that only. Uh, front here is four. Isn't it, ma? Hmm? Uh, yes, ma'am. Who has asked the question? Uh, what's your name? Diksha. Uh, Diksha. So front equal to four. No, Diksha. So yes, ma'am. From front to rear, you have to display the elements of the queue. So uh, queue of front is presently equal to four. Again, increment front by one. Okay. Now front of five is e. So next, when you increment, what is the uh, like index now? Index is crossing the size of the queue. In that case, you have to reset front equal to one. Okay. Then display the element. So how long you are keep on displaying the elements of the queue? In until uh, until front is equal, equal to, to that is initially i equal to front. How long you are required to display the elements of the uh, queue? I is equal to red. Exactly. Okay, that's all you are required to do. Now, can you please uh, tell me how I can write the logic here? Yeah. So I equal to i is equal to front. I equal to what? Is it front? Front. Okay. So is I less than or equal to front or what condition? I need to check here. Again, that also would be like initially when you uh, start with this, no? I, uh, I is smaller than or equal to rear. I is smaller than or equal to rear. Initially, yeah. front equal to look at the front here. It's already larger value. It will come out of the loop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you implement this? I is greater than equal to rear, ma'am. Okay. I is uh, lesser than. I is lesser than rear. Okay. Can we do like this? Two conditions. Can we split up into two uh, conditions? Uh, if front is greater than rear, or if front equal to rear, that means is it required to perform the for loop? Yeah, if front equal to rear, is it required to do the, uh, like, is it required to print it in the for loop? No. Yeah. So how do I print the contents of the queue? Copy and just paste this here. Yeah, tell me. So instead of uh, S here, I just write it as Q. Okay. And uh, here, Q. Okay. So only one link. That's it. Okay. Then, one more condition here. When front is less than rear, look at here. When front is less than rear, <coughs> we don't have any problem. So we have to start the loop from front equal to, like I equal to front. How long I need to keep displaying the elements of the queue? I less than or equal to rate. Isn't it? Isn't it? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. OK. This is when if front is less than rate, okay, then 
i equal to front i less than or equal to ray and then i minus minus or i plus plus i plus plus okay So we are using Q of a uh, capital Q or small Q. We are using it's capital Q only. Everywhere I have taken care of that. Yes. Yeah. So one more uh, condition is that, like when the friend is greater than ray, that I have not written here. That. We'll implement it later. I'll tell you why. Okay. So otherwise, meanwhile, you think of the logic how we can uh, display the content of the queue when friend is greater than ray. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So can we now uh, do this? Yeah. Can we run this now? We'll see how many errors are there in this program. Yes, ma'am. TV of Madi, please. I save in now. See this one only. I check it once where I save that file. Q dot six being saved. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I'll check it once again. This is not uh, coming in this. Okay. In DS directory, Q is there here. Right now. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, but still it's not happening. Okay, once again, I'll just reopen that turbo C.
ನಾವು ಸತ್ಯರಿಂದ ಸೊ ನಾವು ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಒನ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಗೋ ಥ್ರೂ ದ ಕೋಡ್ ಐ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಝೂಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಇಸ್ ಫೈನ್ ದೆನ್ so here instead of when what i need to uh, change here look at here is this right <coughs> front equal to 0 and rear equal to n minus 1 is n minus 1 is correct item minus 1 yeah so what i what uh, need to be done here what with what i have to change here what is the size of the huh no 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 so when you say two is full what is the size of the queue here maximum size here is what five five okay so where it is being stored here that information in which variable it is stored ಪ್ರೀಪ್ರೋಸೆಸ್ಟ್ಯೂಸ್ಟ್ಯೂಸ್ಟ್ಯೂಸ್ಟ್ಯೂಸ್ಟ್ಯೂಸ್ಟ್
So for that, we'll work it out. So what, how I can write the code that we'll think about it now. Yeah. So we'll see how to implement that. Okay, insert. So initially one, yeah, 10. Okay, so look at the index here. Is it right? Is it right? Look at 1520 we are getting and element of the queue is zero. So there is a bug here, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, so yes, sir. check that bug. So this is right. We have written everything perfectly. So look at here. Look at the beauty of this. What we have written. Okay. So front equal to rare equal to zero. And the Q of rare equal to item that is also fine. Yeah. In display. We'll see what we have written the display. Since this condition is not true, okay. so what what we are displaying here is i. Is there any i here? Look at here. Is there any i here? When friend equal to rare, i q of i. Am I using any i? Is i is initialized to anything here? No, yeah, please answer bug here. So how to uh, correct this bug here? Yeah. So instead of I, what I need to write here? Front. Exactly, you are right. Yes, ma'am. Both words. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, which one is to be correct now? Okay. So front or rare, anything is okay, fine. So instead of Q or five. What I need to do here? Front. Front. Okay. Next, in the second case, okay. Uh, hope this is fine, right? So I is initialized to front, and I less than or equal to rate I plus plus, and Q content we are displaying. Okay, here this is fine. Yeah. So any of you thought of how we can print the uh, elements of the queue when friend is greater than ray. Hmm? Okay, let me run this first so that um, yeah. So meanwhile, we'll discuss that. Yeah. So one. Next, I insert ten here. Okay. Now, am I getting correctly? Yeah. Correct or not? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma correct. Okay. Yeah, now we are getting correctly. Right. Next. Again, I'll insert 30. Next again, 3. Yeah. Then, uh, let me not uh, display. Anyway, every time we are displaying the contents of the queue. So let me insert one more element here. 
ओके देन एक ही या अगेन लेट मी इंसर्ट ओके दैट इज वन ओनली दैट इज फिफ्टी सो नाउ सो दीज आर द एलिमेंट्स द क्यू राइट नाउ व्हेन आई डिलीट द एलिमेंट फ्रॉम द क्यू ओके दैट इज सेकंड ऑप्शन विल चूज व्हाट इज फ्रंट नाउ Look at the front is one and rear equal to four, isn't it? Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So better yes, we say that also front and rear every time. Again, I'll just delete the element. Okay. Yeah. Now front equal to two and rear equal to four, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. So yes, what we do is now I have to insert one more element. So when I insert where that should be inserted, where that element should be inserted. Q of five, ma'am. Uh, Q five. Uh, yeah, it should be. Uh, here, these five elements you can accommodate. So where it gets inserted. Q of zero. Q of zero. Exactly, you are right. Okay, but to display the contents of the Q, have we written the code? No, have we written the code? No, ma'am. Elements of the Q we are not displaying. So why? Because we have written the code for displaying the the elements of the Q when front is less than red and front is equal to red. But have we written the condition when the friend is greater than the red? Are you displaying the contents of the queue? No, no. So now, yeah. So look at here. We'll add that functionality, or we will add that condition also. How to display the contents of the queue? So we don't know. Like uh, it's not cursor is not coming here. Mm -hmm. When I'm not sharing, I can easily do that. That scrolling is there, no? Uh, I can put the cursor over there and uh, I can scroll it. But uh, when I'm sharing, it's not happening. It's blinking here and there. So can you please tell me? So when friend is greater than red, how do you write or how do you print the elements of the queue? It's going to be infinite.
Yeah. Can you please tell me? Ella kagata pa. For i equals front. For i equals front, i is uh, uh, greater than i is greater than uh, rare and uh, i minus minus. Okay. But here I cannot uh, use the condition less than or equal to rare straight away. I cannot do it, right? So two for loops I have to write. What is that two for loops? Hmm. In one for loop, uh, we can print from uh, front to n minus one. In another for loop, uh, from first position to the rare position, from zero to exactly rare. you are right. Exactly you are right. Okay, okay. Now what I can write is good. Yeah. When front is greater than rare, how do I do this? For okay, i equal to front. Then how long I need to keep printing this? Or lesser than max q minus one. I less than or equal to uh, max max q. Amle a plus plus a plus plus. Amalin Madbeka, they print Madbeka. You are required to print this. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So, you know what are the records? Okay, print F. Okay, next uh, Q, percentage B, and then um, percentage B, slash N. Okay, then what I need to print? I, Q, I. Astel Vapa, Adad Mane. Ma'am, that is the only. Uh i equals max q in that form. I less than max q correct you are right now only equal to yeah right all right because equal to in fifth location we are not storing anything yeah exactly next after this what i need to do the moment i have displayed this then That's it. For for i equal zero. One more for. Okay. For i equal to zero. zero. Then i less than or equal to. R equal to rare. Exactly, you are right. Yeah. So i plus plus. Very good. So may know who told the answer. Krishna yeah? Prasad. Krishna Prasad. Good. So look at, is there any possibility of optimizing this code? Because we are repeating the code again and again. No? So instead of that, what modification can be done? Can you please find out? If you use mod function, can you optimize this code? Next class, can you think about it? <coughs> can you get me get me the answer? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, number of lines you have to optimize. I just wanted you to optimize the number of lines. So for that, you should you have to think about that and tell me the answer. Yeah. 
पेस्ट के शिफ्ट इंसर्ट नो दिस रिमेम्बरिंग द so is it perfect now is it perfect is this perfect now you have to give me the answer yes ma'am yeah now i'll run this code okay like that only in the previous example how we have inserted the pawn inserted the element the same way we'll do that okay So this is the queue. What I do is now I'll delete from the queue. Okay. So two or three times I'll just delete from the queue. Um, okay. So now how many elements are there in the queue? Now only two elements are there. Now I'll just try to insert the element, new element to the queue. One. Okay. This is the content of the queue. Look at how we are displaying here. So queue zero. Is it right? Q zero. Q zero is not there, isn't it? Again, there is a bug here. Yes, ma'am. What is that bug? It is displaying Q zero. Only. Q one should be ninety, right? Okay. We'll uh, again insert one more element. Okay. So one. Uh, see eighteen. Look at. So ten is written as it is. So we have not set the uh, pointers correctly, right? So just you de debug. I told you how to trace the program. Can you please apply that for this? I'll just get to the code. Okay, you are required to go through the code and what bug is there? Can you fix the bug in this code? Yes, or try no? more. you'll try. You can do definitely. You people can do. Look at here. Ah, oh. so what we have done? Um. Yeah, there is a mistake here. So when Ray is equal to max q minus one, so in textbook he is starting the R index from one, but in C, from where we are starting the R index? You need to start not to go. When friend, uh, sorry, Ray is equal to max q minus one. So how do I set the rear now? Is it equal to one? Zero. Zero, ma'am. Yeah. So in, in code also, I need to do this change, right? Yeah, because we are starting the array index here from zero, not from one. Okay. Yeah. This is uh, because of only because of this bug, we couldn't able to do the. Uh, get the correct answer, right? So last try we'll do this. One, uh, ten, one, ten, one, thirty, one, forty, one, fifty. Okay. So now, uh, two elements will delete. Yeah, ten and twenty is being deleted. So again, we try to insert one more element here. So I just insert ninety. Am I able to insert it correctly now? Yeah. So the Q contents were thirty, forty, and fifty. And how we are inserting here? Look at here. Is that right? Is this right? 
yes sir yeah you have to answer this step sir now what is front now is it the front is 30 only front is 30 30 ma'am yeah and then 40 and then 50 and then 90 is that right so again i'll insert one more element into the queue now so one say 80 now yeah so is this right okay this uh, is the yes, queue is full let us check the condition also once again yeah to overflow right we are getting that condition also you got the idea now okay so again if you try to delete which element need to be deleted from the queue now is it 90 or 30 30 30 right send it okay yeah again we'll keep it with we'll check the underflow condition also Ninety, correct. Okay, now the queue is empty. Okay, I'll just try to delete once again. Queue underflow, right? So like this, you can work with the two operations. Yeah. So I hope you can do this. Uh, <coughs> you got the idea how to implement this. Okay. Afterwards, like tomorrow, I'll upload this program in classroom. You got the idea, no? How to do this? All of you? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So, any doubt now?